Before we get into today's video, I am excited to announce the spring dates for our mini mayhem event at Busco Beach. It's going to be April 13th, 2019. Uh, we're going to meet around 10 a.m. You can find all the nitty gritty details on our Facebook page at Cars and Cameras Reviews, and you can also RSVP. I'm looking forward to seeing some of you guys again. Also looking forward to meeting some new people. Bring your projects. It's about the best fun you can have. I highly recommend you check out our videos from past events. You can find those at the end of this video. You're going to want to hang around at the end of this video too. Anyway, enjoy the video. When we left off on a Performance 420 build from Go Power Sports on our 2B Street Legal golf cart, we got headlights, turn signals, uh, the rear lights and turn signals, and we mounted the body. We still don't have brake lines in, but it'll be all right. We still have wiring to do. We need to get our flip switches done. I think we might be able to do a little bit of hooning today. So right here is a great place to mount all of our switches. We have our light switch installed right now. Next is our little turn signal switch. I'm using a three-way rocker switch for our turn signals. Ooh, look at that. Did you nick the wire? <laughs> <laughs> Is it all right? It's fine. Yeah. I was about to say something about, Glad I hope you don't hit any wires. So Ike's trying to find a fuse box. It's not going too well. But while he's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and stick on our reflective markers. So by law, we need at least two of these things on the golf cart. So they're going to go back here and on the other rear quarter panel. Because the front has the turn signals, but we don't have anything on the back sides. All right, dude. So what I've got going on here is I have a 30 amp fuse which is way more than what we needed I might step it down to a 20 amp fuse it's going to be operating the turn signals and it's also powering up the uh, regular lights we're running into a small issue because we're using LED lights there's not enough power draw to make these little things happy so they actually don't blink very much so we figure if we have to if they're not actually blinking a lot we can just add some more LEDs in the dashboard uh, so when the turn signals are on, we can tell if they're on because they'll be flashing on the dash too. This test lead to ground. So here's exactly what we were worried about. Uh, the turn signal's on, but we're really getting very little blinkage. It's because the LEDs aren't pulling enough amperage to really set off the, uh, the turn signal unit there. So, I don't know, we just need to figure something out. Well, we just need to install another uh, light somewhere. Like, I was thinking an indicator on the dash. To so let we, us know that, yeah. So we know that, you know, hey, the turn signal's on. Because yeah. don't you hate getting behind someone and their turn, and their turn signal's, turn signal's going off for yeah. five, ten miles and stuff? Yeah. I'd like to be able to know about it. Ooh. Did that do it? Look. Oh, that's sweet. And the uh, the box is making a lot more noise, too. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. So we just needed three lights. Look at that thing walking all over the place. You just, you <laughs> just gotta just go for it. And it's yeah. not gonna be perfect, so now that, that disclaimer's out of the way. Not perfect. Ah, oh, that's Pretty sucks. good, though. All right. All right, I wanna see this thing just pop in. All right, let's see it, buddy. All right, left turn signal. Battery's going dead, but other than that. Let's try the lights. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not enough battery. This is the 12 volt test battery we're using. So yeah, it's no wonder we don't have enough battery. So I'm making a battery box for the golf cart. The uh, 420 does not have a charging system. So we're gonna use the good old Honda Civic battery. I'm gonna use two five inch pieces, two nine and a quarter inch pieces, welded together and welded in the chassis. Ike is uh, running throttle linkage. Test fit? Yeah. I need to trim out a little bit right there. good so we're getting close with the wiring here batteries installed positives hooked up and I just did a fuse on the negative 
and I'm about to bolt it in and we should be ready for a test. We would normally put the fuse on the positive side, but I forgot. So we're putting it on the negative side. Positive is preferred. That is beautiful. Ready for the other side? Yep. It's working. And they're nice and bright, dude. I know, and you can hear it. And I like the uh, turn signal indicators. Yep, and there are headlights and, yep, the uh, running lights. And do we have running lights and turn signals? Yes. Huh. <laughs> We're basically making a car. <laughs> <laughs> the throttle was a little bit too sensitive, so I wanted to try to make it not as sensitive. So I added an extra spring on the throttle return. Uh, to help stiffen it up. It was just, you move the old, the, you just move the throttle a little bit and the thing wanted to go wide open. The first thing I did when we went to go break in the engine was I removed this spring right here from there. Yeah. Uh, the spring goes over the shaft and it hooks up to there and I, I just took it off and I put it to there and it allowed this thing to go back to idle. But like I said, the second you did that, it went full wide open so I added a spring to the governor arm underneath the fuel tank and then attached it to the upper uh, starter housing mount and now it's not as touchy you know go power sports actually just came out with some new cables for go-karts that come with little tabs and you weld them onto the frame Really? So you don't have to rig your throttle pedal cables anymore. I don't know if we have any, but for all the viewers at home, check them out. Where are you drilling right now? Huh? I'm seeing a whole lot of smoke, but... Oh, look at that. All right, dude. So there's a piece of angle iron. Yeah. And you're like on it. Really? Yeah. Wow, my goodness. It is at a, quite an angle, isn't it? Yeah, dude. I was planning on it being straight, but... It'll be fine. The idea is I'm going to weld a, a bolt on the end of this. I think that makes perfect sense. I hope there's enough throw. Throw. Yeah. Full throttle, dude. Oh man, first try. Nice. Uh, does that mean it's time for a ride? Just, you know, little testing purposes, right? Yeah, sure. Cool. All right, so the Stage 2420 golf cart is ready for a test drive. Both of us are gonna get on it. We have throttle, we don't have brakes, and the steering is really sketchy, but- Don't, don't have brake lights either. Yeah, no brake lights either. We need to do that. But we're gonna go for a ride anyway. Everything good? Once you give it the beans, man, it, it spins.
Yeah, we, lo we lost our bolt on our sprocket. Oh. She's pretty, uh, she's not great. All right, we'll just uh, red lock tight it and try it again. Try it again. So the bolt falling out of the sprocket in the rear end uh, did a number on the sprocket. It is not well. Ike's hammering it back on and we're gonna red lock tight it and give it a shot. What do you think, man? I think it's not gonna work. You think it's not gonna work? Nope. It's that bad? It's that bad. I don't have a bolt any longer. The next bolt up that we've got is too long. All right, well, we have to run out and get a brake switch. Well, maybe we can try. But we should give ourselves the best. We can try. Okay, we can try. Now I need something to send it. So we figured that tack welding the bolt to the sprocket would be a surefire way of keeping the bolt from backing out of the sprocket. Uh, we figured doing that and cutting it every time we need to service it is gonna be a lot easier than having to go out and find another electric motor to cut off to weld the sprocket to. It'll be fine. So we're gonna let the Loctite dry and run to the store and grab a brake switch. All right, we're back from the store. We got our brake light switch. We have a horn button and a horn because we forgot about all that stuff until we were at the store. Sun's going down. We're gonna try one more wheelie and then install horn and uh, other stuff. What I have is a bracket. Do you recognize it? Uh, Go Power Sports steering shaft. It's uh, piece? some of the Go Power Sports. Pieces yes. that I have modified. Yes. I'm going to weld this to the brake lever and then I'm going to run the wiring. Every time you hit the, the brake, the lever moves away from the body, releasing the button, making and breaking the contact for the wires. And I didn't know this about brake switches, but when the button is pressed, on this one, some of them are the opposite. Oh. This one in particular, when you release the button, it is. It turns the lights on. Yeah, the circuit is closed, allowing the lights to light up. Some switches, when you release them, it opens the circuit and you lose power. It's just interesting. All yeah. it is is a in switch inside making contacts, making and breaking, allowing current to pass through or not. What's that? Cast iron. Because it's welding like crap? Yeah. I believe that's what we got here, buddy. So we tested clearance with the tire turned all the way to the right and then all the way to the left. And it actually hits our brake switch. So Ike's hammering it off. We're going to mount it somewhere else. And I'm going to weld it up the rest of the way, and then it'll probably give us room to trim off what we don't need. Okay. And then it'll be clear. Sounds good. Okay, let's see how much room we have. Oh, dude, miles of room. So it's confusing for me, but we're trying to adapt our wiring to where we can have brake lights and turn signals in the rear without affecting the front turn signal. So Ike is cutting and stripping a wire and um, attaching a diode yes. to the rear light. Yes. So now you're running a new hot wire up into our dashboard area, and then you're gonna attach the other end to the brake switch, right? Yeah. Cool. Hit the brake, buddy. Nice. Turn signal plus brake? Turn signal.
Nice. And running lights now? Running lights. Okay. Great. Nice. This is working out pretty good, dude. Ready? I'm ready. All right, we got brakes. All right, we got uh, uh, we got hazards and more hazards. So we did something wrong. Let me think. Let me think. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. So we managed to get turn signals on both rear sides and brake lights on the rear here, but when you press the turn signal and then brake, it just goes solid brake lights. We don't have one red, one turn signal. Uh, so that's something we're gonna have to look into, but we're out of time for today. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video today, guys. I think we got a decent amount done. We got the seat cut out. Uh, we finished up some wiring and we did some massive wheelies, of course, with a little bit of assistance. Anyway, subscribe to Cars and Cameras for more awesome go-kart mini bike golf cart now content uh, and if you want to help support us and what we do pick up some of our hats hoodies stickers or t-shirts at cars-cameras.com thanks for watching we'll see you next time